Welcome to Good Day Extra. Danielle Knox standing by with what you can catch coming up at 9 o'clock. Danielle? Hey guys, good morning to you. Coming up on Good Day Extra in the 9 o'clock hour, a warning out before you download any new apps. There is a new report revealing the ways that you are being tracked and how your personal information is actually being sold. I always feel like your cell phone is watching every move you make. A New York Times report found that your apps are tracking your every move, knowing where you go, and selling that information to the highest bidder. The paper claims at least 75 companies get location data from 200 million smartphones across the country. We're talking specific street addresses from places you visit. And we're bringing in digital marketing and tech expert now, Tom Jelnick, to talk more about this and what we need to do to protect ourselves. Great to have hey, you. Hey, Tom, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. here. We appreciate good. you. All right, so this is scary to know, right? And we already know like, anything we do online is being tracked in some way, shape, sure. or form. But now to know that something is actually following us everywhere we oh. go. Yeah, or you're following them, which is it, Amy? Right, right, right. There you go, right? Yeah, I mean, Boy. the glass could be half, half full, <laughs> really. Half empty. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, no, it, what's happening a lot is every time we download an app, a lot of people aren't reading those terms of agreement, right? Mm -hmm. And by default, a lot of the times the GPS tracking is enabled on these phones. Uh, so anywhere you're going, you know, you're being followed or, mm -hmm. you know, coordinates are lining up and they can watch your patterns. I guess the question is, how much information are we really putting out there? Is it really sensitive stuff or is it just kind of where we've shopped before or where, you know, that kind of thing? Yes and yes. Okay. So uh, okay. this, is, this is where it gets really dicey. So uh, there are some nefarious apps, one of my favorite words this week, nefarious. <laughs> nefarious. So, but some of these apps will steal credit card info, stuff like that. This really isn't the norm, okay? Mm -hmm. What's really being transmitted is your coordinates, where you are. There's even shopping beacons and stores that can tell that you stopped and looked at XYZ oh, exhibit. Wow. So honestly, as a marketer, some of this data to me is gold, because I know where people are hanging out, I know what they're interested in. It just in. seems so invasive. It does, it feels though, creepy, right? doesn't it? But I, I have to tell you, like, even if you have that find my iPhone enabled. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Everybody's, uh, they know where you are. That's how I find my phone almost Absolutely. every day. Mm -hmm. Correct. But, you know, well, <laughs> but there's a lot of apps too. that don't really need that. Right. Like, you know, why does your flashlight need to know where you are geographically? Mm -hmm. It really kind of doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right, so Tom, what do you want us to know about uh, before we download something? Should we be reading the terms of agreement? So, yes, but you should also read the reviews on the apps to make sure it isn't one of these dicey, shady ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I also want you to make sure it's made by a legitimate software developer. So verified, make sure. Yeah that it's legitimate. Right. right, so a lot of times people will go download it from the website. You know, a lot of, I want you to download it from the Apple store or the Google Play store and just make sure it, it's got enough reviews to look legit. Okay. How do we check to see what information our apps are sending out? Because I got to tell you, sometimes I'm like Googling something. How do they know two minutes later I'm on a whole other feed right. and I'm getting ads for this particular item or something very similar to what I was just Googling? So how do you know? I, I always tell people Google the app before you download it. Okay. You'll kind of get to know what people are talking about. What is it pulling from you? Um, also, what you're referring to is called remarketing. So it's it's a creeper way of marketing. So if you... That's another word, creeper. <laughs> Nefarious you like, you like creeper. That? My vocabulary is really getting enhanced. Very good. But, uh, but you can look at the location settings on your phone and go through individual apps and check off ones that you don't think need to be really tracking you. Okay. Well, good information. You know, that is very good information. That we always, yeah. No, we did help. We appreciate you okay. stopping by. Cool. Great All to right. see you. Great to see you. Too. All right. Take care, guys. Tom, you take care.